after a long day of hiking, you need to unwind. How, you ask? A massage. A massage of the feet. By sturdy Chinese men who don't give a fuck about you. One thing I love about the Monterey Park area is there's a lot of cheap places where you can get dope massages. Now, one of the issues that you might run into is that the people who do administer these massages don't really speak English. The great thing is, Mariel, that you guys don't know, is actually uh, quadrilingual. She speaks English, Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. Chinese specifically uh, Mandarin. So it kind of worked out for us in that, in that kind of sense because she was allowed to communicate with these dudes very well. They allowed us to film because of her skills. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the place that we went to, they, the upstairs area anyways, they specialize in like foot massages. Um, I'm ticklish on my feet, so I really didn't know how this was gonna go down, but people told me that when you get a foot massage, it's different than when you actually get tickled. So they started it off by dipping my feet in boiling soup water, which was great, by the way. When I get a massage, I don't know what, I don't know if this is a lot of people, but I prefer getting massaged by a woman. Is that just me? But we didn't have that choice. We had three elderly uh, Chinese men that were gonna do it, which is perfectly fine. I think, I think old men are skilled, which means that they've done it for many years, so I was completely okay with that. Didn't know who I was gonna get, but they seem very uh, apt at what they're doing. He just massaged all my thoughts. It's very interesting. I've never had a head massage before, but that felt crazy good. At one point, I thought he was gonna scalp me because his hands are so strong. But I gotta tell you, if you guys never had a head massage, you should get one. It's pretty crazy. For a moment there, I forgot that a guy was touching me. That's when you know the massage is good. It's like, ah, oh, I'm falling in love. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> you know what's funny? Like when you get a massage and you get massaged by a man that looks like you in the future, I have a feeling that's what it was. It was me in the future. I was like, what the fuck? Are you my father? At first, I was trying not to laugh so hard. <laughs> it's like the massage is overpowering the ticklinish. Ticklinish? The ticklishness. So there's. Now, mind you, when you get an Asian massage, understand that it's not like that, oh yeah, so good type of massage that you see, like that white people get. I think they do something called acupressure. So they're hitting certain like parts of your feet that are supposed to affect another part of your body that helps you relax and it kind of like releases the tension in your muscles. So it is gonna hurt a little bit, but there's a purpose to it. It's about pain now, feel good later. Asian massages, it's just exactly representative of, a of Asian culture. Your parents beat you now, so you end up being a doctor later. I think he's talking to me through my feet. It's interesting because I can feel his knuckles in every fiber of my foot. And good but it tickles at the same time it's like being fed a sandwich and they're getting punched in the stomach <laughs> 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 oh. i think i'm a terrible boyfriend because <laughs> whenever something bad happens to mario it makes the first thing i do is laugh it just it's funny to me so like you know you expect she was she was the one who wanted the massage but as she was getting it i don't know what's going on they're speaking to each other in mandarin but she's in a lot of pain, and it's making me laugh. For some reason, it makes me happy that she's hurting. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Tell him to continue what he's doing. <laughs> now, I don't think she enjoyed me laughing at her, because, once again, I don't speak Mandarin, so I don't know what the fuck happened, but she kind of looked at me with this evil stare. She says something in Mandarin. My guy, who's massaging my feet, starts to laugh. Oh, shit. <laughs> then, I'm in excruciating pain. <laughs> what did I do to you?
，看起来他很舒服。是啊，会睡一个。So she said something. I don't know what the fuck it was, but that man was massaging my soul. <laughs> Karma. You don't mess with Mary. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> You just look like you need a little more pressure. I don't think they understood what stop it hurts means because as I was in more pain, screaming, he did it more. Whether this is a language barrier thing or he thought he was a funny guy, I don't know. But, fuck him. He's so strong. This is why you never mess with your girlfriend. Especially when she's the only one that can speak the language of the people that are doing things to your feet. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> He's so strong. <laughs> Shufu. Shufu. What's happening? Thank you. Comfortable. Comfortable? That was some hell to get to. Better, harder. Here's the funny thing. So he was massaging my back, right? Which it felt great. But the weird thing is, when your head is is in that massage table, you can only imagine what they're doing to you as they're giving you that massage. So I felt these elbows from my shoulder blade all the way down to my lower back. Now in my mind, I'm like, how is he doing this? What what position is his body in? And it only clicked to me later on because I felt warmth on the back of my neck. I was like, oh, he must have like a hot towel there. It wasn't a hot towel. The guy had his ball sack on the back of my head as he was rowing back and forth from my shoulder blade to my lower back. He basically teabagged the fuck out of me. So there's three guys, and out of all three of them, I got the teabag master. And I think it's only his technique. He wasn't doing that to other people. I was the only one that got teabagged. Felt great though. He's a very strong man. Very strong. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what was happening, but I'm almost 100% sure I felt a ball sack on my head. <laughs> but, did he put a ball sack on my head? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I was like, what, what point in his body is he putting me in, and how is he reaching there? And if that's an elbow, that's a ball sack on my head. <laughs> Last time I came here, <laughs> same guy, I was in a private room. And, uh, so were you clothed or not? <laughs> I was not clothed. I just had underwear on. And then uh, he put his knees right on my head. So my head's right here. And he so went, his ball sack was on my head. <laughs> <laughs> See, I couldn't figure out what was, what was, I was like, that has to be his elbows. But how is he getting his elbows from there to there? And I was like, there's fabric on my head. And his <laughs> ball sack is on my head. That must be like his style, <laughs> like the ab roller. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's a gang leader. I think those are like her homies. No, I was saying like, oh, he looks comfortable. I was like, okay. Too that, comfortable. That is not what you said. You said something evil. I did not. And say all that. I heard was him giggle. Then he started. <laughs> <laughs> then he started punching my feet. I was like, how are you punching? Making the use out of the money. That you it was perfect the way it was before. It's okay. I was in pain too. I know. You should have left it at that. <laughs> I think when you go to a deep tissue massage place, just know that there is gonna be some pain, but there is relief on the other side. You just gotta be strong enough to endure it. What I like about this place, number one, they don't teach you on time. Number two, they have a sense of humor. And number three, they do really good work. I mean, this is my first time here, and, and they're really cheap, by the way. That, that one hour massage was 20 bucks. And yeah. on average, what you know, some people pay on a meal, so. That's relief for the whole week for $20. I'm pretty sure every now and then you guys can spend it on that. Uh, but expect to be in a little bit of pain. Or just don't get a girlfriend that says secret languages to them to hurt you. Thank you, Happy Massage Spa. It was awesome. You guys are fantastic.